Ladies and gentlemen, will you now welcome, please, the enchanting Lee Gibson. If you hear music when he's near you and Christmas comes every day of the year, then you should know. A strange man followed me all the way home. How did that make you late? He wasn't walking very fast. <laughs> Look, I'll put out them cookies you made, because guess what? What, Mama? You are going to have a gentleman cola. A gentleman cola. <laughs> a gentleman cola. Speak <laughs> to Mama, you act like it's the first time it's ever happened. Well, I've had gentlemen crawlers, callers before. Well, Mama, I can marry any man I please. But you don't please any of them, do you? Look how you treated that poor Norton Short. Poor Norton Short? Mama, Norton Short was not a knower mower man. Opened his own drive-in movie. So as he could look at the wall-to-wall car pattern. <laughs> he let the people over 70 in free. Only if they was accompanied by their parents. <laughs> when he went away on business, were you faithful to him? Mama, I was faithful to Norton Short several times. <laughs> Elmer Briggs, holy cow, Mama! I seen a nice little engagement ring in a jeweler's window, and I said, Elmer, why don't you go buy it? And he did. And went straight by it. 
<laughs> now, Elmer was a nice boy. I like Elmer, Elmer Johnson, but you didn't like him because you said he was a city slicker. He was a street cleaner. Well, that's the same thing. <laughs> Baby, we just got to get you a rich husband. We can't go on like this. So when he comes, please be nice to him for Mama. <laughs> Mama, it is not me that puts them off, it is you! Mama, do you remember when you had to drive Jed and me down to the clam bake? We were sitting in the back of the van sparking and all you had to do was follow the white line down the center of the road? You had to go and follow a cow that was late for milking. <laughs> When we got to the clam bake, you had to go and put an egg in your malted milk. Well, lots of people have egg in their malted milk. But not fried, Mama. <laughs> and then when you seen Jake's poor grandpappy's tombstone there hanging on with that long piece of wire, you had to go and say, I see you got the phone put in. <laughs> Mama, I have tried to love you. God knows I have tried to love you, Mama. Do you remember, Mama, when I was a little bitty baby? If ever I fell down and hurt my knee, I used to come to you, didn't I, Mama? And I'd say, Mama, can I have a cookie? <laughs> and when I lost my tidy buyer <laughs> and my wooly a pie under, <laughs> I and my little dollies, I used to come and I'd say, Mama, can I have a cookie? <laughs> and then that day when my own dear, sweet, wonderful little pet skunk I, I came to you and I said, Mama, can I have a cookie? And now once did you bloody give me one? So you have no one yet. I don't care, I'm taking them up Choctaw Ridge because I like to eat them up there. Don't know why it's so quiet up there. It's like a graveyard. Child, I never told you this before, but your daddy proposed to me on Choctaw Ridge. And when I accepted him, he was so excited. He had a heart attack and died on the spot. <laughs> Mama, do you realize that what that makes me? Yeah, and a mean one too. <laughs> now my fanny's broke. Recognize that boy's Anna Ware. Aunt Lucy. <laughs> Lester, Lester, as I live and breathe. Oh, <laughs> Miss Sister? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to leave your employ. <laughs> leave my employ? In heaven's name, why? <laughs> the family don't pay me no wages. Why, well, Lester, you haven't even spent the $50 that we promised you last year. It's just not for myself, Miss Sister. It says here that it's come to my notice that my three daughters are all pregnant and they claim that you are responsible. Is that true, Lester? Yeah. Lester, I do believe you're blushing. Oh. <laughs> Lester? That is the 12th time that has happened this year, and it's only January the 4th. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. It's the door, man. Oh, I can't believe it is. Now, don't rush yourself. You better go and have a lie down. I'll answer it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mama! Yes. Yeah, there's a skinny, ugly, four-eyed, shrimpy little baldy boy want to see you. And this nice gentleman would like to see you too. Wow, Mr. Arbuthnot, my, you look so immaculate, don't he, sissy? Yeah. Oh, this is my daughter, sissy. Hi. Not from here, you ain't. Now, why don't you join Mr. Arbuthnot? Why, is he coming apart? <laughs> <laughs> warm for this time of the year. It sure as hell is. Why, well, I'm sweating like a horse's armpit. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know who wanted to marry my daughter, Sissy? Only the mayor. He was corrupt. I seen him in church on Sunday. So did I. He corrupt into the corrupt. <laughs> 
corrupt. <laughs> and then he corrupt out again. Every Still man. corrupt. <laughs> but sissy, every man has his price. But he gives green stamps, mama. <laughs> Holy cow, honestly, and E, that's the first time I've ever seen sparks come out of a knife and fork. <laughs> and do you know another thing? One time he put his false teeth in upside down, ate half his head for a week of something. <laughs> you know, we used to call him Vesuvius on account of he was always belching and dropping ash all over the place. I guess you two young'uns would like to be left alone. Yeah, sure as hell would. Why do you keep scratching yourself? Because I'm the only one who knows where it itches. <laughs> Why didn't you marry the mayor? On account of a name he called me. What name was that? Well, I don't rightly remember, but I know it began with the B. Was it beautiful? No, it wasn't beautiful. Baby? No, it wasn't baby. It wasn't? No, it wasn't. Uh, and it began with a B. Oh, I remember now. Honey. <laughs> My, but you're an interesting and exciting little critter, ain't you? <sighs> I'm a little shy. Well, ugly little four-eyed, skinny, baldy shrimp like you ought to have more confidence. <laughs> if that guy Campbell picked of me, I look like a monkey. You should have thought of that before you had it taken. <laughs> oh, I got up. <laughs> I saw that, yeah, I thought that, yeah. <laughs> Oh, ain't no two ways about it. You sure are ugly little critter, ain't you? Well, I didn't ask to be born. You didn't want to stay where you were, did you? <laughs> did you now? No, I didn't. Okay, Sissy, then. sissy, sissy. Someone left the gas on. What's going on? What? I have a very important question I want to ask. Then hold everything right there. Hey, Mama, I think we hooked the skinny little shrimp. Mississippi. <laughs> My Martha has been gone three years. She ought to be there by now. <laughs> but I've been faithful. I think adultery is just as wicked as murder. Don't you agree, sissy? I don't know. I ain't never killed no one myself. <laughs> this is Shippy. Will you marry me? Me? I thought you wanted to marry sissy here. What? That great ugly lump? I wouldn't kiss her with a set of bullet lips. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. That's because you don't get around enough. <laughs> Why, well, of course I'll marry you. But what's gonna happen to my little girl? Don't worry about me, Mama. I know who I'm gonna marry. Hey, Lester! Yeah. Child, are you out of your cotton picking mind, Mary Lester? Why, he can't read. I know that. Well, he can't write. I know that. And he can't even speak proper. I know that. Well, what in heaven's name can he do? 